So it's time to talk about toilets. Now, in my situation, I don't have a gray water tank or a black water tank. So I need to find something that's going to work. And there's a lot of options out there and a lot of different ones. And there's some very interesting things that are out there. I learned a lot when I was looking. All right. So let's first look at things that are not options. OK, this one here. No, needs a lid and don't use a white bag. This one, love the name, but it's basically a pop up bucket. This one was interesting because it's collapsible and would be easy to store away. But the problem with this is the bag is just going to hang down and it could anyway, the bag hangs down. All right, so we're gonna move on from those. Now, if you're looking for the closest thing to a residential toilet experience and something your guests would probably accept is the Thetford Flush Toilet 550E. This is a really nice unit. I think it's well worth the money. It's nice, it's sleek, it has kind of a European look. Up here, you have an electric flush, you have your fill. This tells you how much water is in the tank. This tells you how much the waste level is and the toilet paper comes out, you pull this valve and you have a water flush and it goes down to the bottom, you close the valve and this separates the two units. So you have a four gallon fresh water tank up here, a 5.5 gallon wastewater tank down here. Here's your handle. And so you take it, you, you separate it, you take it out and you dump it. The reason you want a high quality one is right here. You need something where the seal is very high quality and it's going to last because you can see you're gonna be tilting it. So if this seal were ever give out on these cheap ones, it's, well, it's gonna be pretty useless. Uh, average is 56 flushes per tank. Uh, has an optional hold down where you can screw it down. Here's the dimensions. I think for the money, it's a good value. See the links below because the prices are varying on this and shop around and get a good price on it. My situation was it has a 5.5 gallon wastewater tank and you know you're gonna be the one that has to be emptying it and you know everybody's gonna wait till it's full. So imagine carrying five one gallon jugs of milk, how heavy that would be, and then towed it across the parking lot, go into a strange bathroom and dump it in the toilet. No, that, uh, I think that's just not for me. And I'm going to, I decided to keep looking. So here's something that was really cool. Now, if you're going to build a small bathroom, if you ever price small sinks, they're very expensive. And this has the sink and it has a soap and it has uh, the fixture and it's a foot pump and the drain. And I was thinking, you know, you could, you could possibly take the tank off and put a pressurized water line and a valve. You have a great little sink set up for very little money because this setup here is about $75. They also sell a combo unit where you pump the water up here, use it, then it goes into the fresh water tank of the toilet and then in the gray water. So that's pretty efficient usage. 75 for just a sink and about 140 for the combo. I'm, this, this toilet is probably not a very good one, but it's an interesting idea. The next one up is the Clean Lace Portable Toilet. The reason I like got interested in this one is it all closes up in this nice carrying case. And so you could tuck it away very easily. It has three legs. The, all the videos I watched, nobody could really put this liner in well. It's funny, even the manufacturer uh, videos. Everybody kind of fumbled trying to get this into here and then get the lid closed. So it was it was kind of interesting. But and it has a mesh bag to hold the bag. But again, you, I, I don't know. I'm just I'm not much up for having that, seeing that. And so I think it's a little pricey around 70 bucks. All right. So the cheapest thing out there is going to be the Reliance Luggable Lou. And a lot of people use this and it's very simple. It's going to be the least expensive thing. It's lightweight. You can buy just the lid for 13 or you can supply your own five gallon paint bucket. And if you want to get theirs, it's thirty five dollars. But reason I don't like this is the, the, the lid does not seal, it just kind of flops over. And also, this is not very stable. It's tall, it kind of gets a little wider at the top. So both those things kind of ruled me out, but at least you don't have to look at the bag. So the next one, this is my favorite one, um, and it comes under different brands. But this one, I think it looks a lot, if you've ever been to a federal or state park and gone into a bathroom that does not have running water, you'll see something that looks very similar to this. I like that it has this lid here. So you would take this up, take this lid out, and then there's a bucket inside it. And when it's closed, it looks good. It could be used for a seat. Here's the dimensions here. And it looks like, here's a look at composting toilets. You know, they're $500,000. And if you really look at them, they're fairly simple. And this looks a lot like one and could be used with one. It doesn't have the ability to churn things. It doesn't have the elect, you know, the vent, electric vent. But it, it is interesting. It could be used. It has a full-size seat. And it's around 80 bucks. So it's not bad. But you can see here, this, you could put, you put your liner over this, put your lid on it, put inside here. And so it's a pretty attractive unit, I think. Reliance Hasek Portable Toilet. Now, in this case, it doesn't look like a toilet. And I kind of think that's a plus two. So what you have here is you have an inner bucket and then you have a, an inside lid then the toilet seat and then an outside lid. And this lid fits very well. I was impressed with it. It's much shorter and it's wider than a five gallon paint pail. So it's got a lot of stability to it. And when it's all closed up, if it was if you saw it stored somewhere all closed up, it kind of looks like an igloo water cooler. But there's a lot of things I like about it. So this is the one I ended up with. 
Now let's talk about liners. In any case, whatever you use, definitely use a liner. I did a lot of research on the composting toilets and other ones and how people use it. And you can pay a lot of money for liners. You can get ones that's double bagged with all sorts of chemicals in it. We'll talk about mediums. But what you really need is just a very high quality, nice bag. And this one's black, cannot see through it. It's scented, it's 0.9 mils, so it's thick. So I'll put probably three bags in there and then just take one out at a time so I don't have to worry about leaks. And for $6 from 40, it runs about 15 cents each. So that is dirt cheap and available easily at Walmart. Now let's talk about medium. So what a medium is in the composting world, that's what you put in there before you start and then you go and then you put it on top and then build up layers. And then um, usually the toilet will have some way to churn it and or not. And so that what this does is it takes away any liquid. So if it smells, that's because something is in a liquid state. Once it's dried out, it's not going to smell. So what you would do is put down a layer of this first and then cover it. And then when you're done, take the bag and throw it away. Now you can, a lot of people say, oh, we'll use kitty litter. That's fine. There's clay and paper and that will work, but that's not the best solution. Plus I like the organic solutions. Pine bedding works, hamster bedding, aston, bed, aston bedding. Um, I kind of got a kick out of this one. This is paper but it's confetti colored. So all I can say is colorful. Um, use chips, not sawdust, because sawdust is going to get up in the air. All right, so what I had decided on was cedar chips, and I really like this as an option. It's organic, it's gonna aid in the decomposition, has a great natural smell. You want something that's kiln dried, that makes it very lightweight and absorbent, and it's also pest repellent. Cheap, readily available at Walmart. You can get it in different size bags. You can get it in really big bags. But this is what I decided on my setup. So I'm gonna show you what I've got, how it works, and the process that, to go through with it. So now we're outside in the full bathroom. The toilet now makes it a full bathroom for the panoramic van build. If you wanna check out the previous episode or other episodes, check the link below about the hot water system, which was the previous one, or I'll put a card in the upper right-hand corner to episode five, which is how I built the shower. I think you'll find that interesting. So let's take a look at the toilet. It fits in here real nice. The curtain can either wrap around in front of it or it can go behind it either way, whichever way, so you can get some privacy that way. So first off, we have the inner bucket. And what I'm gonna do is put one trash bag in, wrap it around the sides, and then what I would do is put two more in, so probably have three total. You can see the bags are extra big. Just get it in there, get it to the bottom, push out all the edges. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this bucket inside that bucket. It looks something like this. You can see there's a nice bit of room here around the edges to get several of the bags in. Now the next piece that normally goes in is this cover here. But what I found is this just kind of floats around. It doesn't really have a secure home. And so it's great for holding a roll of toilet paper, but I'm not going to use this one. I think it's just an extra thing to clean. I don't like kind of like how far this goes down into it. Um, so I'm going to skip that. And so the next thing that goes on is the toilet seat. And that actually fits quite well. Even fits a little better without this top on it. And that looks good. And what I like about this is the lid that goes on top of this is really quite secure. And it takes, I think it's going to work fine. Now if I needed to, <laughs> I'm going to get it off. Okay, now that I've got it off, if I really needed to, if I was still getting some odor, I could look at putting some rubber weather stripping right here on this edge here, and then it would be super airtight. Now, I did make, need to make uh, one comment about composting. If you do decide to do composting, if you go that way, it's solids only in here. You don't put liquids in here. You'll have to dispose of urine separately. But for this application, I'm not going to be composting, so that can all go in there. So the first thing you want to do is put in some of your medium. So what I did here is this is just, just a little plastic thing I got from Walmart and I just crammed it full of shavings. I was surprised how many shavings I could get in there. So that worked out well. And don't put these in until you're ready to use it because you want to keep this as dry as possible. If you put these in early, you're going to be absorbing some moisture from the atmosphere. So put a nice bed in there in the bottom, cover it. This stuff is not expensive, so you can be liberal. So there I put a nice layer down there covering the bottom. So then you would use the restroom and then when you're finished, then put another layer on top of that. And you might do this, you know, in the evening when you don't have access to an outside toilet. And then what would happen is put the lid on it. And then one neat thing is you could also do your food preparation and you can put your organic waste in here as well. It's all going to go to the same place. You put that in there and put another layer on top of that. Then you can use this through the evening. And then in the morning, 
when you get to a place where you can dispose of it. Just take the lid off. Take the toilet seat off. Pull up the bag. And just like disposing with a diaper. Just, this is why I like the black bags. You don't have to look. You would just twist it all up and tie off the top. So here we have it on a bag. Just toss it in the trash. Well, thanks for joining me for this episode of the Panoramic Van Build, and I hope you enjoyed it. I learned a lot researching on toilets, and I found this really interesting, and I hope you did too. So thanks for joining me. Thanks for leaving comments. I enjoy uh, reading them, and I'll see you in the next build video.